Yo Wagwan, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to save custom patches in Omnisphere. So this is for, you know, when you tweak a patch or maybe you just created a patch completely from scratch, created the instrument completely from scratch and you wanna save it, this will show you exactly how to do that. So make sure you stay tuned. I'm Jay Carter Ray from jaycarterray.com teaching you how to be better at music, online business and online marketing. This is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't wanna be starving artists. So if that sounds like you, click on that subscribe button, check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will love it, Garen. Teed. Now, my question of the day is what kind of instrument are you trying to save in Omnisphere? Is it an instrument that you've just edited and you want to save it? Or, you know, what kind of instrument is it? Is it an arp? Is it a bell? Is it a piano? Let me know in the comment section down below. But let's get straight into this. This is going to be a really, really quick, straightforward video. Now, what I've done is I've brought up, brought up Omnisphere, of course, because we're going to be using Omnisphere. Let me quickly put on my headphones so we can kind of hear what's going on. Well, not kind of hear, so we can actually hear what's going on. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit this pad, okay? So this pad that I've got is the Airy and Wet Flutes pad, and it's a pad that I use a lot. <laughs> I use this pad a lot because it's a great pad. But the thing is, every time I use it, I turn off the Russian flute air. Now, the reason why I do this is because instead of using this air, I usually add RC20 to my pad. So I don't need this air, otherwise there's just too much air. But I never save this so that I can just easily use it. But I'm gonna show you exactly how to save this right about now. So this is a instrument that I've edited and now I wanna save the different version. And you can do this with any instrument and you can also just create an instrument from scratch by using synthesizers or using different instruments and bringing them together and all that sort of stuff. But that is probably for another video. Now, in order to save this, all you need to do is right click pretty much anywhere on this Omnisphere page. I generally click over here because it just seems like that's the place to click. And then we go to save patch as, and here, you can change the name of the patch. So I'm gonna do without, oh, forgot the H, without the H, I guess, <laughs> without air, okay? So that's what we're gonna call it. And here you'll see, this is my user library and it's got a bunch of other stuff here because I've downloaded a bunch of Omnisphere banks. But generally in here, you'll see like factory and you'll see my category and my patches. So you wanna go to my patches and this is where I save my patches that I've created. And here I'm gonna go to pads and I'm gonna save this area and wet flutes without air in my pads over here. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to access this later down the line. Later down the line. So here we also have a bit of a, an issue here yeah with this i forgot how i solved this at one point in time but it's like here you can't actually edit the notes for some reason like you can't edit the red the web links or these keywords or anything like that in order to do this in order to get everything there i think it works on my laptop but another thing that you can do is you can enter whatever you want to enter like your website and all that sort of stuff and then you can copy and paste it as far as i remember yeah, if you press paste, that'll work. But if you just wanna write, it doesn't work for some reason. I don't know what the issue is. I don't remember exactly what's going on here. I, I do remember fixing it at some point, but this isn't super necessary for you to know. But if you do have the solution to this, if you are experience this, experiencing this bug as well, leave a comment down below, because this is a fresh install and it's happening again. But leave a comment down below and we we will hopefully have answers there and if i remember how to do this i'll make a video on it as well but as you can see you know here we can add you know a different author although i didn't really make this so let's not steal the authorita authoritative author let's not steal the credit basically and you can change stuff over here like you can change the genre you can change the type you could change where the library is and all that sort of stuff so this is all going to help you in terms of searching through your patches and searching through Omnisphere. For example, if you're trying to find ambient 
patches and you use the term ambient this would also show up so this is important for that in terms of actually finding your patch later down the line so make sure you do actually fill in these attributes now the notes aren't super important unless you're planning to actually upload this online and sell your patches if you're planning to do that then you do want to edit the notes you do want to edit the web link and all that sort of stuff just for product cleanness purposes basically but all you need to do is click the save button there we go and let me save okay so in order to actually find your patches that you created we're going to go to the patch browser that's what i use so you come over here you click this to actually bring it up but you don't have to you can just come down here and go to user directories and go to user and then you can find your user directory from here and go to my patches and then here you go here are my patches and whatnot but if you go into the patch browser you could just see things a whole lot better i like prefer searching through this generally sometimes but as you can see it's very easy to get to your patch and to start using it on your own beats and in your own songs and whatnot so i hope this video has really helped you out but that's not all i also want to give you a free gift now how would you like to learn how to create your own trap beats from scratch I bet you would, right? Now, I created a free course for you that will show you my easy nine-step method to creating trap beats from scratch. Link is down below. Go to jcarteray.com forward slash free trap course. Then follow the instructions and you'll get access to that course. Also, if you want to have your beats half mixed before you even get to the mixing stage, link down below to my beat mixing templates. Those are going to help you out a lot, save you a lot of time and have your beats sounding professional go and check those out if you got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make please leave those in the comment section down below and in the next video you're going to learn more about music online business and online marketing i'll see you there peace out